بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك Praises and thanks of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we send salams, salutation to our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. My beloved brothers and sisters in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In today's session, I wish to discuss Sifatul Umrah, the performance of Umrah. And Allah says in Al-Quran, wa atimmul hajj wal umrata lillah, and complete the hajj and umrah for Allah. Sake. So Hajj and Umrah is performed for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. While Hajj could only be performed in the sacred month, in the month of Zul Hijjah, which is the last and final month of the Islamic calendar, Umrah, there is no time in, in the year. Umrah could be performed any time, any month, any time of the day. There is no restriction towards the performance of Umrah. However, the performance of Umrah is considered as a lesser Hajj. And Rasul alayhi salatu wasalam said, Al-Umrah ila al-Umrah maghfiratun lima baynahuma. The performance of one Umrah to another Umrah, it is forgiveness of the sins that has been performed between the two of them. So when one performs Umrah, it brings that person forgiveness for the mistakes in his past life. There are certain things need to be taken in consideration for Umrah and today we will only discuss the performance of Umrah. First and foremost the niyyah for Umrah must be foremost sung. It must be dedicated and performing Umrah lillah. Nawaitu our Allahumma inni urid al-Umrah فَيَسِّرْهَا لِي وَتَقَبَّلْهَا مِنِّي لَبَّيْكَ اللَّهُمَّ عُمْرَةً O Allah, I intend to perform Umrah. Make it easy for me and accept it from, from me. نَوَيْتُ بِالْعُمْرَةً I intend to perform Umrah. وَحَرْمْتُ بِهَا I now become in a state of ihram for Umrah. This is the first thing, our intention for Umrah. This is the first point, must be noted. The second is ihram. For a male, he must be in the state of two pieces of white garment, unstitched. There is no underwear. He cannot wear a shoe. He has to wear only slippers or sandals, a pair of sandals. He is allowed to wear his spectacles. He is allowed to wear his ring. His head is always uncovered. There is no hat. He can put on at that time and this takes the effect from the me card from the me card the me card is the boundary now someone traveling from the west he will be either going to mecca first or he goes to medina if he goes to medina he will be coming from bir ali from the me card in which rasul assumed assume his ihram from that is the boundary for the people of medina if he is going directly to Mecca, well then he has to assume ihram in the aircraft or at the airport before he boards the aircraft. The timing for the Mikat of the people who are traveling by air to Jeddah International Airport and then would continue to Mecca, it's approximately 30-35 minutes before your arrival the aircraft will start to descend. At that point, you must be in the state of ihram, physically in two pieces of cloth for men. For a lady, there is no uniform for ihram. They're loose garment, any color a lady can wear, a sister can wear. Her scarf is on and the garment should be full and her body shape should not be exposed. And this is the ihram format for a lady, for a man 
two pieces of white cloth, a pair of sandals, there's no hat or there's no underwear. He begins now to recite the Talbiya. The Talbiya is Labbaik Allahumma Labbaik Labbaik la sharika laka Labbaik Inna alhamda wa ni'mata laka wal mulk la sharika laka Labbaik Allahumma Labbaik Here I am, O oh Allah, in response to your call La sharika laka There is no partner, there is no associate, there is no God with you, O oh Allah You have no partner at all La sharika laka Inna alhamda Very all praises are for you Wa ni'ma lak And all bounties are for you, O oh Allah La sharika lak And again, you're affirming that there is no God There is no companion there is no partner with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, coming from Medina, and we stop at the Maikat, the Mu'atamir or the Hajj, he will stop there and he will perform two rakah, and he assumed the intention from there. If he's traveling by the aircraft, he can also, when the pilot announced, he can, uh, in the seated position, he can break two rakah, nafil there, and he assumed the intention from that point. At that point, all the rules that comes with the injunction of Umrah as a muhrim now you're called a muhrim it takes effect from the miqat you're not allowed to clip your nail you're not allowed to enter into marital contract any marital relationship you're not allowed to pluck and pull your hair you're not allowed to use any scented item cream ritter perfume you're not allowed to apply all of this you're not allowed to hunt you're not allowed to kill uh, or to to slaughter any animals until you complete the umrah you have now arrived in mecca you will if it is possible it is always preferable to enter from babi salam door of peace look at the kaaba glancing at the kaaba one should thank allah was brought him to this place then he begins the tawaf. Tawaf begins from the black stone, Al Hajar al Aswad. Hajar al Aswad from the black stone, and tawaf also completes at the black stone. So he performed tawaf. Tawaf means to go around, to circumambulate the Kaaba anti clockwise direction, anti clockwise. You are going around. So you're starting from the black stone, going around. The first circuit he makes, he recites. Surah Al-Fatiha and praises to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and dua for the Muslim Ummah and giving salam to our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam He goes around the second time On the first circuit when he comes before the black stone before Hajar Al-Aswad he will see that there is another stone that is called Hajar Yamani That stone came from Yemen and that is at 90 degree of one of the corners of the Kaaba. Between Hajar Yamani and Hajar Aswad, he will recite the famous dua, Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina athab al-nar wa adakhilna al-jannah ma'al abrar. Ya Aziz, Ya Gaffar, Ya Rabb al-Alameen. O oh Allah, give me the good of this life and the good of the hereafter and save me from the torment of hellfire.